Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 24, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to unload the topic on uh, nutrition in plants and animals, and the subtopic um, factors affecting enzyme controlled reactions. Uh, we are going to have um, uh, several lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give factors affecting enzyme controlled reaction and you should uh, uh, be in a position to explain them. Uh, we have got several factors which um, affect enzyme controlled reactions whereby the factors might include um, temperature, we also have got pH, um, but in our lesson today we are going to um, first explain substrate concentration and enzyme concentration. As you can see from our diagram, um, I want to explain what we are able to observe in our screen, so you'll be very keen. Um, when the substrate concentration is increased, the rate of an enzymatic reaction also increases up to a maximum level. You can see there, there is a point whereby at this point it is increasing steadily uh, up to a maximum level. However, a further increase in substrate concentration does not result in an increase in the rate of reaction. This can be explained in terms of active sites of the enzyme. When the substrate concentration is increased, all the active sites of an enzyme are occupied. At this point, the enzyme concentration becomes the limiting factor when the concentration of the enzyme molecule is, in, is increased. It causes a proportional increase in the rate of uh, reaction. Um, now we are going to have uh, also another factor that affects uh, enzyme controlled uh, reaction is what we call uh, enzyme core factors and core enzymes. I want to explain more about the core factors and the core en enzymes whereby a core factor uh, is a non-protein substance that activates an enzyme. Uh, they vary from simple inorganic ions to complex organic um, molecules. Core factors they are required in small amounts. Remember um, also for the enzymes we also said that they are also required in small amounts. For example, if a core factor is an organic molecule, it is reversed to a core enzyme. So that is what w I guess now we, are we have gotten the definition of a core enzyme. So a core enzyme, it is uh, gotten wh when a core factor is an organic molecule. We have um, going also to have another factor that uh, affects enzyme controlled reaction is what we, we call as enzyme inhibitors. And as we are aware that to inhibit is to prevent. So that is to mean these are, are these are um, factor that is inhibiting the enzyme from um, performing their functions. So uh, enzyme inhibitors uh, is a substance that prevents an enzyme from catalyzing a reaction. That the rate of catalyzed reaction is reduced. There are two types of inhibitors. One, we have the com competitive inhibitors and non-competitive inhibitors. I want to explain about the competitive and the non-competitive inhibitors. Uh, we, are, uh, we find that competitive inhibitors, they are substances whose shapes are similar to those of the substrate molecules, thus they compete with the substrate for the active sites of the enzyme. Remember we say that uh, when we explain the enzymes, the substrate, they normally occupy the active sites of the enzymes. So one, uh, once a competitive in inhibitor, gets I inhibitor gets into the active site of the, um, of the enzyme, it will be very difficult for uh, a substrate for it to get there because already its space has been uh, occupied by the uh, by the by the competitive inhibitor now we also have uh, non competitive inhibitors whereby these are substances that attach themselves to the enzyme molecules altering the shape of the active sites normally the non competitive inhibitors they are they don't look alike with the active sites but uh, once they get in the active sites of the enzymes they normally alter or change the sh shape of the active sites such that, for example, if um, the substrate is normally maybe circular in shape and the active site of um, the enzyme is also circular in shape. When the non-competitor gets into the active site of um, the enzyme, it will change its shape. For example, let it, uh, it can change it to become rectangular. So when the, um, when the, the substrate will come and get into the enzyme it will not fit because enzyme is uh, we have said that the, the uh, uh, substrate is circular 
and already the shape of the enzyme has been altered or it has been changed by the non-competitive inhibitor so you'll realize that the enzyme um it will not function normally um now having uh done and uh, said that we are going to have uh, some several activities whereby you should one you differentiate between an enzyme cofactor and a coenzyme because i'm very sure that we have um uh, differentiate the same in our lesson and two you explain how temperature affects the enzyme um, reactions because I remember I've said that there are several factors which affect um, enzyme controlled reactions for more information on our lesson you can refer to KLB secondary biology students book one our uh, fourth edition Nairobi Kenya literature bureau and also to get this lesson and many more of the lessons you can send us an SMS on the number that is appearing on our screen or you subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, which is at Elimu TV or you um, get us on our Facebook page at Elimu TV or you tweet us a message at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching and let us subscribe to learn and get more of these lessons. Thank you for watching and welcome.